everybody. Welcome back to another week of What's That All About? Today, we're gonna to be tackling the question of what does it mean to love God? Now that might seem like a really simple idea and you're like, duh, we believe in Jesus, so, so we gotta love God, but it can be more complicated than we think. So you see, back when Jesus was on earth, his disciples and all the Jewish people had all of these rules to follow. I mean, lots and lots and lots. But Jesus, when asked what the greatest of all the rules was, narrowed it down to two. And one of those was love God, and the other was love people. So today we're gonna to talk about that whole loving God thing. You see, we are called to love God with our whole self, from the tip of our head to the bottom of our feet. And um, the way that we do that can be kind of complicated, but luckily Jesus gave us four specific ways that we are to love God. Jesus said to love God with our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. And those four things, when we put them all together, is how we love God the best way that we can. Well, you see, those four things sound really good, but what does it actually mean? Well, you see, we start by putting God at the center of our lives. Everything we do revolves around Him. So the first thing Jesus told us to do was to love God with all of our heart. All of our heart. And when we love God with all of our heart, that means we are making good decisions. That means we are using our emotions when we're happy, sad, angry, anything like that, to talk to God and to explain what we are feeling and using those things to show the love of God. It also means that we are focused on worship and our actions. So when we do those things, when we love God with our heart, we are making good decisions, we are using our emotions, and we are focused on worship and pouring out our love for him from our heart. The next thing God said to do was to love him with our minds. Now our minds are full of lots of different things. We have a billion thoughts every day. And when we use those thoughts, we can have good ones or we can have bad ones. But what God calls us to do is to use our minds and to fill them with good thoughts. And when we do that, we think about the things God wants us to think about, and that is showing him love. The next one, I think this is the trickiest one, is to love God with our soul. But what is our soul? It's kind of even a funny word. You might practice saying it, soul. Or our soul is what makes us who we are. It is our thoughts, it is our feelings, it is our actions, it is all of that. It's the things that we like, the things that we don't like. It's who we are as a person. Well, when we use our likes and our dislikes to love God, we do. We are loving God with our soul. Well, what are we supposed to like and dislike? Well, we're called to like and dislike the things that God likes. So God loves his creation. He worked very hard to create it and he loves it. God also loves people. He loves people way better than we could, but we're called to try our best to love God like that. So we love God with our heart. We love God with our mind. We love God with our soul. Wow, that's a lot of crazy things happening in one person. What's the last one? That's right. We are called to love God with our strength. Our strength has to do with not how strong you are, although some of you are probably really strong. Our strength has to do with our actions. What do we do when we're with our friends or with our brother or sister? Do we show God's love and treat them kindly and respectfully, or are we mean and we think bad thoughts and our actions don't reflect what God wants us to do? That's one way. Another way is to serve. You know, Jesus was the perfect example of serving others. He washed people's stinky feet, and he healed people, and he did all kinds of things. Well, we get to do those things too when we fill ourselves with the Spirit. Now, 
We're called to do all of these crazy things, to love God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And when we put it all together, we're loving God with our whole body. And this is kind of what that looks like. See, we go to school and we think good thoughts. We use our emotions to explain what we're feeling. We help people when they are sick and we serve them by taking out the trash or doing the dishes or just loving them well. We think good thoughts. We have good actions. We like the things that God likes. We treat his creation well, and we worship him with all that we are. And when that happens, all of those things that we talked about, all those different parts kind of disappear into one colorful mess. And the thing that shines through the most is God. When we love God with our heart, soul, mind, strength, all of it, we are showing other people and showing God himself. We are showing how God is working in us and working through us. And that is how we love God the best that we possibly can. Hope you'll join us next week for another video on what's that all about. See y'all later.